It's time for our second prize ceremony now, and here to read the citation for Mr. Gabriel is Ireland's first female president. She has also served as the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. Please welcome Mrs. Mary Robinson. <clears throat> Your Majesties, Your Royal Highness, Laureates, ladies and gentlemen, I first heard the unmistakable voice and music of Peter Gabriel over two decades ago as I watched the film Cry Freedom, the story of Stephen Biko and the struggle against apartheid in South Africa. That powerful piece of cinema was made even more magnificent by Peter's haunting yet inspirational song, Biko. We've come to understand, both through his art and his life example, that Peter isn't just moving us to sing and to dance. He's urging us to take action to make the world a better place for all. I've watched in awe as Peter has found new and innovative ways to champion causes he believes in, and to bring many more people along with him on the journey. His love of music from all cultures and countries led him to co-found WOMAD, World of Music, Art and Dance, which, in celebrating the rich diversity of the world's performing arts, has also reminded us of our common heritage in one human family. Peter's commitment to human rights and his direct contact with the victims of abuse, combined with his deep understanding of technology, led him to establish Witness, which helps local organizations use video and the internet to document human rights abuses, thus strengthening demands for greater accountability. And more recently, Peter helped convince Nelson Mandela that our global village needed a group of elders to listen and to offer guidance in addressing some of our most pressing problems, from ethnic conflict and oppression of women to combating climate change. I'm honored to be among the individuals that were called by Nelson Mandela to accept this role. All of us in the elders are fortunate that Peter is at our side as we seek to help make a difference. There's so much more to say. But for now, Peter, for your music, for your leadership, and for your friendship, allow me to simply say on behalf of all of us, thank you. You are richly deserving of this award. It's now my honor to read the citation. Peter Gabriel is being awarded the Polar Music Prize 2009 for his groundbreaking outward-looking and boundary-busting artistry. As a composer, artist and person, Peter Gabriel has not only had a significant influence on the development of popular music, he has redefined the very concept. Peter Gabriel does more than just intertwine music, voice and images. His music is at once a megaphone for the global society and its most unflinching critic. Peter Gabriel's artistry presents us with world music in its most meaningful sense. It's my honor to tell Maestro Gabriel to please come up on the st stage to accept the Polar Music Prize Award from His Majesty the King. <laughs>
Thank you. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highness, fellow laureate, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is an extraordinary list as you look at the Polar Prize winners. And uh, there is certainly a large voice in my head which says, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> and, uh, because as a child, I'm sure I would never have been identified as a future Polar Prize winner. Um, I was failed most of my exams, um, plunking away at the piano, as my mother will tell you. Uh, I wanted to learn oboe, but they said I wasn't talented enough. Um, and we had, uh, I remember early days of Genesis, one uh, successful London agent who took an hour of his life to tell us why we would never make it in music and why we should go back to doing whatever, <laughs> crawl back into whatever hole we'd come out of. Uh, I'd also perhaps like to dedicate this uh, to my mother who's here with me tonight because I think... I learned, I learned about uh, the power of compassion and the power of music from her. And also to my father, who is not well enough uh, to be here, but from whom I learned about the power of technology. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, this is um, a family moment too, and I would also like to thank the Anderson family and the mighty Stig for creating this. Uh, it's a great project. Uh, and so, Tilala Polar Music Prize Committee, Tagsumuket. 